Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy CNN here. Nah, that's not it. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be playing some Prey. Um, <clears throat> sorry that I haven't been uploading Outlast for a bit. I, I've been, like, really tired. I haven't been getting enough sleep and stuff. I didn't get enough sleep today either. Alright, so I guess we got to choose a character here. Of course, I'm gonna go Mel. Duh! That looked awesome. Wish I could have customized my character, but that, hey, whatever, right? I don't know if there's any differences between picking a female and... What the hell? <laughs> that ain't my mouse cursor. That's my mouse cursor. <laughs> Am I supposed to do something here? Hello? Okay. Let's have a random cursor. I don't understand. Uh, but yeah, I haven't been feeling really good. Uh, probably after this, I'm gonna record the rest of Outlast. I know that I'm, like, basically near the end. All I have to do is get through, like, two sections and I'm done. So, <laughs> I might just record it all and put it into separate parts or just record it all and upload it. I'm not sure. But anyways, what the hell? Pre-order bonus. Thank you for pre-ordering Prey. Your pre-order items can be found in the special container in Morgan's office. Why, thank you. Is that... Hey, Morgan. Wake up. <clears throat> daylight. We sent a helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your... Anyways, I have this on very high. Uh... Oh, listen. Uh, hey. Really great you decided to call Alex, you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> This is the sound shit. I don't know. I'm Morgan. Anyways, I have this on very high. Uh, this it said cry engine, so I guess it was made with the cry engine. But um, and most cry engine games are like really weird with my computer. Sometimes my graphics card fan will like really boost up, and I don't really like it. Seems like it's good for right now, but uh, this is also made by the people that made uh, Dishonored, which that really doesn't make my stuff any more. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Fuck that cup. It's, didn't know it actually had breakable physics. That's actually awesome. I don't know. There probably was a lot there that I could have just checked around, but I don't know. First day on the job. Anyways, this is supposed to be some scary game or something. I don't know. I haven't played any of the Prey games. I know that there is more. Uh, there's more than just this one. Um, yeah. So I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to be expecting. It said horror. So I'm expecting some horror. What about this? Will this break? No. I don't know why I would think that. Turn that. What? Turn off! What is it? I don't know. So in here. I should have done this first. This is not how it works. Alright. Uh, uh, make sure to pick up the soap, man. Don't drop the soap. I actually broke it. Okay. What about this? I can't use it. Like, I can't do, like, Doom or something. Actually, like, pee in the toilet. I don't know why I would want to do that, but... You never, you never know. Uh, what is this? What? Just taking random things. What is this going to do? Nothing. Maybe I'll take this. Just uh oh, no, that ain't It's jammed, I can't go outside my own home. Screw you. What is this? Hands on electronics. Expert from the preface to hands on electronics by Antone. Antonette, I don't know. 
pretty hard name. By working through a series of practical experiments, this Hummel manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By then, you'll be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. I guess he said that. <laughs> I remember I read a... I read a book about Thomas says and it was like a what's this gonna do? What the fuck? Alright. Holy crap. We can actually do this. Alright. <laughs> Just think some people might actually walk out the door <laughs> at this point. Not me. Hello Morgan. So glad to hear you. You'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official work day is Monday, March fifteenth. That ain't today. That ain't today. But first we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for a life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight, and I'll see you soon. Thomas Tucker. Alright. Human resources. Delivery. Hey, I sent a package with everything you'll need for your first day. Uniform, transcribe, and a neuro... Neuro mode? Neuro mod? I don't know. Inst install the normal mod right away. As we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch. I don't think I did it. <laughs> Ready? Hey, I just got off the phone with m mom and dad. You won't be there when... Uh, when I see you. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're New York company stuff. But they send their best... I think mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to to uh, be outside her gravitational pull at some time <laughs> at the same time. Alright, I get that. Okay. She said you'd better behave and do everything you, your big brother says, okay? Actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you'll, you tell me. So there you go. That's mom. Anyways, everyone's excited about the your ideas up there. So get ready. I'll prob call? <laughs> what? I'll prob call you. I'll prob call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon, Morgan. That doesn't even sound like Alex. <laughs> Out of what Alex was saying, I don't think that's Alex. Alright, what is that? Okay, let's read it. Hello? <laughs> Voice conversation technology enabled. Synthesis systems to generate speech patterns based on the source were entirely new voices. Without the need to exo what? exhaustive? Just use big words, huh? <laughs> Recording and pre processing. The quality of the resulting voice depends on the training data as well as the precision of the conversion. Uh, function and limitations and processing power. Okay. Yeah. Just use, you know, confusing names and big words. That's just gonna make me happy. Warning. Neuromods mods should only be administered by certified trans star technicians under the controlled conditions. Subjects may experience slight Discomfort, swelling, or redness of the eye shortly afterwards. Remove Neuromod from vacuum sealed container. Press rubberized eye cup firmly against bony orbit of eye socket. So like this part right here, I guess. Keep eye open. Depress orange release trigger and continue to hold Neuromod against I for five minutes. Dispose of used Neuromod and provided biohazard bag. Alright, where's that at? <coughs> Are you the Neuromod? Hey. Alright. You see those TVs? Fuck those TVs. Alright, I think that's about it. Oh, shit, I forgot all about this. Uh, what if I told you 
I could turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes. I wouldn't believe you at all. I'd say you're full of it. That's right. <laughs> That's the first thought that crossed my mind. But it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me himself. Maybe. Me. No. Alex leans back in his chair. Welcomes to the... Hey, welcome to the age of the Neuromod. What the hell did I just read? Let's take a drink. Ah. What? I I'm confused. Oh. Carry the refrigerator. <laughs> That's... God dang. I'm not reading all this. Got too much stuff. Let's go. I want to get into the horror aspect of this thing, news. but yeah, I'm reading books. Hey, how are you? Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. I'll be taking this. Ah. Oh. All right. What? Do I only have a certain? Okay, I thought like I had a. She said roof, right? Is that the floors? It's got 50. I wonder if you could count the roof as a floor. If not, then it's got 51 floors. This is a tall building, and they got even taller. Hey, don't mind me. I was just reading my books. Getting ready for my day of work. What job do you do? Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. I can't hear you. But that's the software presents. Wow, that's actually neat. Just think someone didn't look that way. That was actually pretty good. I like that. That was neat. Hopefully this isn't some copyright. I ain't looking at it. All right, let's see what is Arcane Studios production. An Arcane Studios production. Where are we at? I thought we were in New. Yeah, that this is New York. That's probably the Brooklyn Bridge. I'm not really fluent in New York. I haven't been there, so don't judge me on what. I probably just said it, it. I don't think there's mountains in New York. Are we in New York? <laughs> you lied to me. Pray. They lied to me. Saying I was in New York. We're probably in San Francisco then. Where are we at? You said New York in that book over there. Now I'm wondering where I'm at because there's only one bridge. Yeah, we're just gonna say I'm in San Francisco. That's where I'm at. I've seen you know I'll be saying Cincinnati. Hello, Dr. Hugh. I'm a civil 495 science class operator. You actually got some. What? You're the first thing I saw when I Kansas came in here. Has over a dozen okay. facilities across the Do I actually need to talk to you? If you count the entire Earth Moon system. All right. You know what? You're Welcome just confusing me. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Yeah, I guess so. A <laughs> hundred floors. I wonder where the testing facility is at in the basement. I just can't really 71 floor that's Morgan. the testing facility Finally. they call me Morgan Freeman no that's not the game that's not the game hey you don't look terrible in a transfer uniform how's your eye still red I know the test might seem a little unconventional I didn't get to see you family tradition breaking convention is in our blood no what up once you start the test just do whatever comes to school. Don't over 
think that Dr. Bellamy is going to walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. Am I going I to space? Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in Moon A. Which Hi. one? Listen, just be yourself. They really gotta I'll not say I'm Mr. Yu when two Yu's are here. All right. Dr. Yu. Am I Dr. Yu and he's Mr. Yu? Look at that. I got a PhD and you don't. Is this, I think that's just the same thing as what I read. Well, I didn't read it. I didn't want to read it. <laughs> Good morning, Morgan. I was about to I'm press Dr. a button. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to be fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. <laughs> For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Press the red? Oh, okay. I should be getting a different pop filter soon. I, I, I've i noticed in my recording set, it kind of like blocks my view. I'm sorry. It's just it's big. I really wasn't... I didn't get this pop filter when I got this mic. That's when I had my blue Yeti. But, uh, <clears throat> alright, let's do this. Just want me to remove them? Bam! 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 Was I fast enough? Oh, I see how it is. You're not gonna say the truth! What do you want me to do? Sit in the chair? I might just want to drop this thing. Shit, if I need to do that. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Shit! Take your time. Relax. Take it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. I fucked up. the red button when you're ready to start. I fucked up. I fucked up. Ah. My, ah. I legit messed up. I'm sorry. Here. I know what I was supposed to do. Really? You're still gonna let me move on even though I failed that? It's here. Uh. Right. Just want me to press one button and then another button. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room. You jumped high. In the most natural, intuitive way possible. What does that mean? Without thinking. Just, just go for it. So just press, press button, go button press button. Bam! I messed up so bad. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? What, what happened? I installed exactly what Tina thought now. Did you double check? Did this new arm. Oh! See? I I've been hearing you talk bad about me. The equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. I, I truly tried. He, like, did something. I don't know what he did. He was like, bam, I don't, I don't know what I did. Maybe that's it? I don't know. You know what? It don't matter anymore. Run room D. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Already done. Wonderful job. That's <laughs> what so I thought I was going to do with that chair, but instead I picked it up. That makes the most sense to me. You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know, you love, or try something new. Vacation? New. What was that noise? You've been sentenced to death. For your actions. How does this make you feel? Calm? 
It was worth it. Angry. No one has that right. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Yeah, I know, right? A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. Well, I'd switch tracks. I'm saving more lives. A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an anonymously fat man. Pushing him into the train would stop the train. <laughs> Push the fat man. What? A runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Oh, hell no. Interesting. <laughs> well done. Well done. Why is there another push the fat man? <laughs> that wouldn't stop the train. I'd just be killing everybody. I want you to take a good look at it. All right. So we had a roar slot uh, image. Oh, shoot! Oh, shit. He died. He's dead. He's dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Was there anything I could do? Did I actually die? I think I died. Man, I thought I had it. Alex. So, Lance, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Try and keep tabs on my computer. That guy died. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Wish we were this futuristic. I ain't like that. I don't think it'll be like this in... Count. 2032. Fifteen years, maybe? I don't think it'll be like this in a fifteen years. <clears throat> Probably be this guy's age. <laughs> Where'd I go? Let's go look in the mirror. No, that ain't it. Anything new? I wanna go see. Six emails! Six emails! Danger, leave now. EOM, EOM. From January. Who's January? Alright. I don't think I need to worry about you. I got more of this stuff. Awesome. Hey, see that? Screw that thing. Take that. Unless it's always just gonna. Okay, it's just the same stuff. Let's go. I don't know what's happening. <clears throat> oh man, what is this? I don't want it. Oh! 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 You're dead. That's all that matters. I wasn't expecting to find you here. Turn on flashlight. I need to turn on it. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, hell yeah. Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. I You're thought not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. Well, I thought so. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're oh, not safe. I know where to go. I'm breaking it down. I actually got it right. What the hell? Where am I at? They've been testing me the whole time. I knew it! I actually didn't know it. I thought that was my real building. I don't know where to go, man. You're telling me to do things that I don't know what to do. Let's go this way. It just... It, 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 this game just took a turn. No password found. I'm gonna find the password. I can tell you that right now. <sighs> Marking this tire SQA is the, what? I don't know. Is that the password? No. This might actually password. There we go. 
This person's got three emails. What is this? That ain't nothing to me. Oh, I know this morning is innocent. It has left people shaking. Alright, I don't care about these people. They've been testing me. Probably probing me. What the fuck? <laughs> the Hephaestus Heffy twist and loop handle. It's just a crescent wrench, I think. <laughs> wrench is standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed in trans star facilities. Good for liberal appliances and I don't know. Use R2 swing, charge tank. Okay. Does that mean I'm going to need to attack somebody? I'm going to need to attack somebody. Oh my god. The helicopter wasn't real either. Shit. What the fuck? Is there anybody here? You need to go. It's probably the same thing. He lied to me the whole time. That's the elevator. I know this place. I go in. Ah. See? So it's been a simulation the whole time. Come in here, you know, walk up here, get into the elevator, it does little things, right? And then it sets back down. You come out, go in here. That thing was standing there. You come into the elevator, do your little thing. Firm! Now it's going down. But it's not really going down because it's still on the same floor and then bam everything is the same as it was whenever it hit everything that's neat that's awesome i've just been in the same building over and over how could y'all do this to me i trusted y'all i trusted my brother utilities what is this Oh, shoot. What? Oh, my God. Why would I do that, though? Test management. Reset. Oh, look at that. And then we got the... God dang it! I messed up. What? What? I didn't see nothing. Oh, wow. Oh, fuck. You're gonna die. Wow, okay. That's different. That's actually different. That's weird. So what they mimic? Is that what you, they're mimic? So he was mimicking a chair. That's neat. I like that. What is this? Me? Oh, that's no. I think I'm Alex. Alex is my brother. Maybe my brother. That fucking liar. I trusted him. I trusted all of you. I thought I was going to space. I, I actually didn't know what was going to happen. Oh yeah, I said I was playing this on very high difficulty. I'm playing on PC, but I have my controller. I just feel comfortable with the controller in my hand. I'm sorry if, you know, people are offended by that in some way. But, like I said, I just, I feel comfortable. And that's why I think people should do is just play how they want to play. Play in the way that makes you feel comfortable and how you want to play games. If you feel more comfortable with a controller, use a controller if the game allows it. Some people might say, 
hey, you can, you know, do this and stuff, but I don't know. What is wrong with you? <laughs> See this person's face? Dang, he dead. Is that what happens? I'm kind of scared to pick up things now. After what he said? It's like, oh, hell no. Oh, God. Huh? What? I don't like... I ain't hear nothing. Why I gotta do that? Why? What'd I do? There he is. Where's he at? You bitch. Shit. I don't know where to go. We got a mimic over there. Doing his thing. Mimicking. I knew you were here. I knew you were here. I was going to get him. Man. It's actually an enemy that's kind of crazy. I wasn't expecting something like that. That's weird. Anyways, let's go. You shit. What the fuck? Let me at him. Are you Joven? You're not Joven. What the fuck? I don't think I could take on all them. What'd I do? No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Well, how'd I do it, man? I want out! Oh, shit. Quite crazy, actually. <laughs> Man, y'all don't have to do this. Let me take this. Let me. I don't want y'all. It's not urgent. That one needs to be read. Okay. Urgent. Hey. Shit. What the fuck? A new objective. What? Hey, I think Bellamy's taking data related to mimicry and remote manipulation out of the research department, get to the trauma center, and grab the key card to his cabin off his body. I'm sorry to be morbid, but Alex will lose his shit if someone else finds that data. Okay. That's good. That's nice. I'm glad you care. Jeez, I'm gonna play your way. What? Oh. Okay. Here we go. Research for an alternate path. Find the key card. Research for an alternate path. I like that. <gasps> oh God. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. That's just jump scares. Explosive. I was scared it was gonna explode. <laughs> Who knows what finding a key card would have done? Even if you're dead. Oh shoot! He spot me. You think you got? You think you hard? I'm confused. You're just bringing it all on me, like one after another. It's there's no halt or nothing. What is this? Repair. Tutorial. Repair. Many objects and tiles can be repaired if you have a repair skill and enough spare parts. To repair an object, hold down Y and repair. All right. I got it. No, that ain't it. All right. I think we're dead. In all honesty, I think we're dead. What is this? We got a gun. Oh man, it's on now. 
I saw him. <laughs> the Transtar Glue Cannon. Gillifoam Latin's one. Disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them. That ain't good. Glue can extinguish flames. Okay, then whatever. What? I don't think I'll be able to survive at all. I got a gun that's just made for glue. You know how mad I am? That I got a gun for glue? Huh? You know how mad I am? Don't I have like a... Hey. What am I doing here? Use the thing! Glue canister. Take that. Didn't do crap. Thought I had a gun. I thought I was safe. Instead, I'm screwed. Where's he at? Man, if you don't back up. I'll still with the armor if it ain't doing anything. Ain't no point in having armor if you ain't gonna use it. <laughs> Thought I had at least. I think I'm going. Who do you think I am? I ain't gonna read. I don't know what. New train. <laughs> what? When I do that, I want to listen to it immediately. Don't. I don't know what I picked up. I don't know which one to listen to. I have like another audio log. I don't want to re listen to it. I should go directly. Thing. Oh my god. Favorites will. <laughs> Alright, whatever. What is this? I don't know where to go. I think I know where to go. Apparently it's right here. Oh, I need the neural mod. That's right. <laughs> What's that gonna do? The Neuromod, which got put to your eye, yeah. <laughs> is a revolutionary trans star invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities. Press to open and transcribe and navigate to the Neuromod section. Man. Scientist, engineer, security. I guess I need to go security. Here, yeah. Whatever. I don't know. Put it to your eye. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Ooh. I don't think you just do it like that. I'm sure there are many Transtar personnel who wish they had stronger, faster bodies at the moment. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. Oh, goddamn. You're a fucking bitch. You hear me? A bitch. Man, how? He's trying to run. He saw me kill his boy. And it just. It's bad whenever you can't use the restroom in peace. Ain't nothing here. I know. Crumpled up paper. I wonder what you can use that for. All right, whatever. Sick of the main lobby, let's go. Are you sure? I am positive. I'd just rather see some normal people. Let's 
just be like, oh my goodness, are you alright? Be like, yeah, I'm fine. Thank you for wondering about me. I don't know, I think after this load screen I'm going to be done. Seems like my time is basically end right now. I don't want to make these episodes too. I don't know how long this game is. But I think around 30 to 40 minutes is good. Damn. All right. I think that's about it for me. Uh, I, well, I can actually save the game. Awesome. All right. Yeah, that's about it for me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, come back for the next episode. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.